Let's cover this one. Now. Cyber criminals have found a sneaky way of stealing tax accounts and even encrypted messages. Here's what you need to know. Hackers use blob URIs to hide phishing pages inside the browser memory. How does this work? Hang on. You put a blob URI, a browser feature designed to display temporary local content into browser's memory. So the content does not exist on a server. This is mostly undetectable. You can literally be given a website that exists as nothing but what looks to be a bunch of gibberish to you. And it essentially it's exploded if you want to think about it that way or imploded depends on how you look at it right it's a bunch of gibberish that gets transformed into a website that looks legit to you in your browser this is this is really really smart in these campaigns the phishing process begins with an email that easily bypasses secure email gateways these emails typically contain a link to what appears to be a legitimate page, often hosted on trusted domains such as Microsoft's OneDrive. However, the initial page doesn't host the phishing content directly. Instead, it acts as an intermediary, silently loading a threat actor controlled HTML file that decodes into a blob URI. There is a difference here. It's not URL, it's URI. The result is a fake login page rendered with the victim's browser designed to closely mimic Microsoft's sign-in portal. To the victim, nothing seems out of place because when you open it up, it just loads up, right? You just, you have a particular URL. It, it, it even has like a OneDrive slash something.html URL, and it just explodes into this page that looks legitimate to you, but it's a prepackaged page intended to deceive you they are inaccessible outside the session because they operate entirely within the memory of the browser so se traditional security tools can't pick up on this it's not hosted anywhere and then you click on something or you take some interaction you submit some information whatever it might be and of course it leads downwind to somebody having access to data that you didn't want them to have this is particularly smart. Again, be careful out there. Be careful out there.